how to fix my internet connectivity problem if this is the question you may have of you in your mind my friend you're in the right place today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot and fix internet connectivity problem uh, as you can see from my screen I create um, uh, eight steps that uh, I like you to follow and resolve your internet connectivity problem but uh, I try to sequence it as well but you can follow any order you like and now let's move on what I did I prepared a document and it will show you in details so step one what you need to do is you need to restart your PC and once you save all your documents hopefully it will fix your internet connectivity problem if not you need to restart your internet slash Wi-Fi modem so in my case I have a black Wi-Fi modem it will act as an internet modem as well so I can restart this uh, I can power it off wait for 15 minutes and power it on and see if that resolves the issue step number three you need to check the IP address of your laptop or desktop I'll show you how to check your IP address in my case I have Windows 10 so what I need to do I need to type CMD on ask me field and it will open up a black command prompt we type IP config hit enter sure and I've seen some connecting via the Wi-Fi I'm getting IP address so in my case I got IPv4 address 192.168.1.5 this is my laptop IP address my default gateway is 192.168.1.1 please note without the IP address you cannot connect to internet now uh, let's move on so if you don't get any IP address from your PC you might get this kind of output like you know IP address details say media disconnected media disconnected media disconnected now let's move on um, you also need to check if you need to configure a static IP address to get connected to internet or obtain IP address automatically is uh, the preferred option so you can get this information from ISP for example if you connect to Wi-Fi that managed by you you most likely need to get the obtain IP address automatically ticked and obtain DNS server automatically ticked but if your ISP is they provide direct connection to you, yeah, you may need to get if check with them. They might ask you to configure it statically. So I will show you how to get into this configuration page and how to check it. So like uh, Android or any iPhone, you have a setting options. In Windows, you have a control panel. So you type control panel, and it will open up the control panel. So. Uh, once you open up the control panel uh, you might get this category as a like is category everything for you but for me I'd like smaller icon so I'll give you give you the more options so then you need to go to network and sharing center you need to go um, change adapter settings and you need to go Wi-Fi uh, or LAN Ethernet whatever is your connectivity for the internet connection so then you need to uh, double click on it you need to click properties then you need to highlight internet protocol version 4 TCP IP version 4 and go to properties and in my case as I said I'm obtaining IP address automatically obtaining DNS automatically but if you're asking you to put a study configuration you just need to select the next options and type 10.1.1.1 100 if your ISP give you this IP and type the default gateway 10.1.1.1 based on your ISP and type the DNS configuration so you will get all this information for ISP but I don't need this configuration I hit cancel okay cancel it again close it close it close it now let's move on to the next step to check if you got internet connection what you can do is quickly you can open up this black window as I said and you type ping google.com if you have active internet connection you should be able to ping google.com sometime to find if you have a DNS issue what you can do you can 
get this uh, if you cannot ping that google.com try mark try to get this ip address of google server try to ping it see if you can ping it Paste it so if you ping the ip address of the google but cannot ping google.com this look like you might have a dns issue keep in mind okay so as you can see from here i ping google.com is successful i ping google.com ip address is successful as well now what you can do if you cannot ping google.com or can corp cannot ping google ip address try to ping your default gateway see in my case i have my default gateway 192.168.1.1 so what i do i try to ping it ping 192.168.1.1 sure enough I can ping it okay uh, this is what it's showing in the screen if you are unable to ping your default gateway I mean uh, I mean uh, this box if you are unable to ping this black box in my case um, you maybe your Wi-Fi modem in your case or your internet modem you will get this kind of display hundred percent loss and let's check how to resolve the DNS issue so in your case if you have a DNS issue I suggest you to go to control panel and go to once again network sharing center change adapter settings in my case I have Wi-Fi I double click properties highlight IPv4 properties and so you might get um, so you might open IP address automatically but maybe you can check the manual configuration of DSCP server DNS server and you will get this IP address from your ISP and hit OK but in my case if I, if I if want to cancel it properties hit OK close it it. No. so this is what I'm saying uh, you can type it out of my manually the DNS server information and then try to uh, ping google.com for example like this google.com so you should be able to ping it now let's move on you need to check if you got the correct driver installed on your PC NIC card or Wi-Fi card you need to do is once again go to control panel this time you're looking for device manager so under device manager uh, open up the network adapter settings so normally the, these days the laptop got two NIC card one is for the gigabyte ethernet for the LAN connection one is for wireless LAN for the Wi-Fi connection so if you don't have any yellow mark or explanatory mark like this kind of icon you should be fine if you have this you need to install the driver from the manufacturer of this NIC card or you or your laptop manufacturer all right let's move on so this is what I'm showing I don't see any yellow mark on my NIC card so last two are the NIC card now let's check how to enable or disable your Wi-Fi adapter so uh, once again go to control panel sorry it's not cmd take control panel uh, network and sharing center once again change adapter settings if you right click on it if you click disable then you should be disable your wi-fi now if you go to ip config now do ip config so you are not getting any IP address try to go to any web page see it's not working for you because your NIC card is disabled now if you come back to these settings control panel token sharing center change adapter settings if you enable it I see it will enable it for you it is enabled now now you will get the IP address let's check the internet connection to refresh the page 
once you enable your Wi-Fi NIC card you need to check if you got any IP address so if I go back to CMD IP config sure enough I got IP address 192.168.1.5 for my Wi-Fi LAN adapter settings now I'll check my internet connection see if, I, if my internet is working okay my internet is working now which is good let's move on to next step some laptop you might see a bottom from the side of your laptop where you can switch on switch off your Wi-Fi NIC card or some laptop you can see at the top with a wireless sign or sign you can switch on or switch off your Wi-Fi NIC on the laptop from this bottom let's move on to point number six it's a quite important one if your internet connection is not working check your internet modem and make sure there is no red light on it if you have any red light on this internet modem especially in the one link or in the internet link talk to your ISP to resolve this issue first let's move on to next step now I'm going to show you how can you log into your ADSL modem to check your connectivity status see you have 192.168.1.1 is your gateway address from the IP configuration just copy this by mark highlight and enter to copy open up a browser and type it and it will show if you since I, this is a password already saved if we go to advance and to slow off so once you type 192.168.1.1 it will go to this page for your username and password. If you don't know the username and password and if you haven't changed it, Google search it to get the factory default username and password. It's most of the time admin, admin or admin password. In my case I change it. So I type my own username and password. If you are in Australia and if you got an NBN connection you should see IP address under the PPPoE. That means you are you got active connection. So, if you switch to advanced settings, you will see more in details information. Uh, we'll go through this, uh, all these options one by one later in another video in future. So you can do quite a lot of things. But the key thing to remember, you should see IP address for your WAN status connection. For and if you have a home ADSL connection, especially in Australia, for example, if you got a D-Link modem or something similar you will see the when then you will see the status is saying connected that means you got active connection as a PPPoE and it's IP address the mask so this is the example by the way so let's move on to my uh, next slide so you yeah, see once you see once I type the username and password I can see my IP address in here for the when side of the IP connection now one let's move on to step number seven uh, this is quite important uh, I saw sometime what's happening is uh, um, let's say you got a laptop you take it to office and they configure the, the proxy settings to connect to cor corporate proxy for internet connection so you come back to home and you forgot to change the setup and you hook up to your Wi-Fi connection but you cannot get it to internet connection because of the proxy settings. I'll show you how to resolve it. See if you go to control panel once again and you got a internet options double click on it and go to connection and LAN settings. See under the proxy at the moment nothing ticked and sh you should only select automatic detect setting and if you do that your, your internet connection is working. But see if I put a proxy address, let's say corporate proxy and hit OK, hit OK. If I go to any page, 
so it will not work it's just trying to get to that page it's trying still trying eventually it will say page can be display because it's trying to connect to proxy setup See, unable to connect to your proxy server, error proxy connection failed. So if we have this kind of error message, especially from Google Chrome, go back to your once again the control panel, then internet options, connections, LAN settings, and untake it. Maybe delete it as well. Anti will do, by the way. Should only select automatic UX setting. Click OK and OK. Now try to restart this page. See, it's working fine now. So that's why I'm saying if you have a proxy setup, just to make sure you select automatically detect setting to restore your internet connectivity. So don't use any proxy or use automatic configure to skip so don't tick any of this box if you are at home for internet connection now this is one more important thing sometimes what I use always after you've done all this testing and everything still your internet connection is not working sometimes what's happened is you might have a firewall installed on your laptop or desktop especially it comes with antivirus and it, if it is get some update and it whatever reason not allowing it to connect to internet after that software get updated so how do you check it and how do you so what you need to do is you need to temporarily uh, disable your firewall and maybe for half an hour and then just check the internet connection again and see if that resolves the issue for example if I go to control panel and you say windows firewall setup you open it up see it's saying this setup is managed by vendor application Norton 360 so I have Norton 360 what I'll need to do is I need to open up my Norton 360 then I need to find the settings of my firewall settings firewall so if I want to disable I just highlight this and it talks to disable if I apply, it will ask you for how long if I want to turn off, I say 50 minutes. So then, now what's going to happen is my power is off now. So now I can maybe try to see if my power is off, if I can get connected to internet. As I said, sometime this Norton or any other third party software like McAfee, or 10 micro they try to update get update from the server and maybe because of their patching your internet connection is not working because it's they're filtering too much so you can temporarily shut down the firewall and see if that is to internet connectivity so so this is what I'm saying in this uh, presentation so I'm going to check how my firewall get monitored if I can do it from Windows if not I need to do it from third party manage uh, software this, in this case Norton 360 then uh, we can disable the firewall for 15 minutes and we can check the internet connection once again uh, now one last thing I like to do is I like to share the link for you if you want to download this word document as a reference how can you travel to the internet connection you can go ahead and do it so this is the link I have I will share it in my description field on YouTube as well so you can copy and paste so if you like if you can download from my google share drive i hope this session is informative for you and hope uh, it will help you to resolve your internet connectivity problem you have a great day thank you very much to watch this video bye for now see you then